All right, hey Pisces, so I am doing your weekend messages and this is mind, heart, and soul messages from the one on your mind. And so you're gonna know this is your read by your energy, the mutual energy and the circumstances around the disconnection. So if that does not resonate, please check your other placements, you guys. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you'll subscribe if you like my energy. And we're just gonna crack right into this read and get your energy and see what you, excuse me, are going through your energy so judgment card comes through which is you know um it's look at that the world card um maybe not being um not having a lot of hope all right um wanting um a rehabilitation when it comes to the connection i, I don't know what word i was looking for um, but the world card coming through in reverse is basically saying i'm not ready for this connection to be over with yet all right, um, not ready for it to be over with yet, but afraid that maybe it's not going to come through, not going to reconcile, um, you know, um, with the full card, I do feel like it is a desire to want a new beginning. Um, but I feel like there's some uncertainty around the dynamic when it comes to you and this person. Is it done? Are we done? Are we moving forward? Or is the past in the past? I feel what's coming through your energy is you don't quite want the past to be over with yet. You do want to move forward. This is a separation read, um, but it could be that you're just coming through with, with some uncertainty. Temperance card is in reverse is, you know, it's not having quite the understanding. Um, that maybe you desire from this connection, maybe not knowing where this person's coming from, where their energy is coming from, maybe even feeling confused about what's happening or transpiring between you and them. Let's just see what their energy is, their energy. So with the High Priestess card coming through, um, and you guys have a lot of major arcana, a lot. So I feel like with strength card coming through on this person's energy, when it comes through in reverse, I it's almost like you guys are kind of mirroring each other. Like there's not a lot of hope and faith that kind of governs this person's energy that you guys um, are going to um, uh, meet somewhere in the projected future. You, The three of swords coming through their energy is basically um, heartbreak, heartache, it's loss. And if this person hasn't come through and tell you kind of um, their hurt mode, um, they're definitely keeping it in with the high priestess card that's a, a, that secretive kind of behavior so i feel like you guys are both kind of hurt by what's transpired between here you both don't want it to be over with but you're both not communicating where you want to see things go and it could just be um because based off of what has happened and transpired between you and them so let's see what the mutual energy is the mutual energy i almost feel like you guys are quite lined up with one another so we have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like you guys are not sharing. Um, you're very closed off. I don't feel like you're sharing um, what's on each other's mind and in your heart space, but you both know you need to. This is wanting to talk, wanting to communicate, but it's like, if it ain't going to be a success, what's the point of moving forward? Um, if it's not going to be successful, what's the point of moving forward? So it's like you guys are both kind of reserving the right to reach out, communicate, and see where things are going to go um, in the next direction because I feel like you guys are both worried about where it's going to go, where things fall, where things lie. So let's see what happened. What What is going on with this disconnection? What happened between you guys? There's a lot of marrying a lot of marrying look at that we have the knight of swords coming through some somebody who's not being direct um straightforward honest and blunt when it comes to their feelings emotions and having even mental clarity it could be too that somebody was misguided where we thought things were going to go with this connection um completely went in the opposite direction and it's because of lack of communication the knight of uh, uh wands is frustrations it's um, unfocused energy it's scattered energy and it's um, operating in haste and the king of swords coming through is somebody who is manipulative with their words their actions um things not aligning it's dishonesty it's um um, somebody who is, is uh, bogged down, no mental clarity at all. Um, right here, this is like, I don't know if I want independence, freedom. I don't know if I want commitment. Um, this is all about choices. Like all these cards coming through in reverse basically says that you guys are not on the same page. Um, there's, I feel like there's some been some dishonesty, perhaps some um, negative energy when it comes to this Knight of Wands. It could be playeristic 
uh, I'm independent, I'm single type of energy and the, the failure to make the, the proper choice when it comes to the heart space. And it's almost like you guys mirroring off, off of each other. Um, it's like, um, Pisces, you know, if this energy is not yours, you definitely know that this person's um, garnered some um, uh, negative energy that they haven't been honest. They haven't been straightforward. They haven't been, uh, you know, truthful when it comes to you. Um, I feel like you're, you're aware of that. I just feel like you're aware of that, but you you are uncertain of where the dynamic is going to play out, where it's going to go. All right. Um, and with this uh, high priestess card coming through, I feel like that could be um, the directive of the secretive behavior, maybe withholding information. What do I need to tell Pisces? What I should have told Pisces, and I didn't. But it's like Pisces, you're intuitive. You guys, you guys know how to read energy. You know when somebody's being deceitful or dishonest and this person's coming through saying, you've already read me and I didn't even have to say nothing to you. All right, so let's see how they feel about you. How do they feel about you? So we have the King of Cups coming through, which is emotional balance. This is somebody who operates from their heart space. This person knows it. You could have walked away from them because of their indecisive behavior and maybe even the mannerisms they've been showing to you. Um, but they definitely are, are conflicted about their behavior, about the role that they've played. Um, this right here is wondering if you're coming back. Um, they see you as somebody who's full of love, um, full of self-care, um, self-love, full of independence, compassionate energy. And it's almost like this person's desiring you to come back through, but they know that they've hurt you. They know that they've kind of caused and wreaked a, wreaked a little bit of havoc when it comes to the mental space and your heart space. All right, so let's just see what messages need to come through this person's mind. I want to talk to you. I miss our communication. I miss talking to you. I miss how we connected. You know, this is flirting. It's having fun. It's laughing together. It's talking. It's the communication. It's telling stories and exchanging all that positive energy. And I feel like from this person's heart space, they definitely um, know that they kind of screwed up. Like I, I took this away from myself, you know, that positive um, energy when it comes to the communication. So let's see what comes through their heart space, the heart space. Wow. This right here is showing um, divine masculine energy. I know I can be better than what I've shown you. My 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 lack of moving forward, my lack of, um, you, you guys seen all that upside down energy, the lovers, the nine of pentacles. This right here is, is basically saying, I know I screwed up, man. I showed you a distorted version of myself and I want nothing more than to come through and show you the divine version of me. All right, it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, but they know that they fucked with you. Um, potentially making the wrong decisions um, and hurting you. So let's see what comes through this person's soul space, their soul. I want to heal. I want to grow. Look at this. Seven of Pentacles is, is going to show a healing dynamic. You guys could have had and spent some time together where things have never really escalated. They never really popped through where you thought they were going to go. Um, that's, that's basically saying, what can I do to heal the connection? Everything we've had over the last couple of years, what can I do to heal? What can I do to grow with you? What can I do to compensate for where I kind of lacked beforehand? So let's see what's coming next to you and this person. What comes next? So some more worry, stress, anxiety, fear. Look at that. But nines, look at that. You have two nines and a ten. So what's what I feel is happening with you guys is you might ex experience a little bit more negative energy. Um, pain, hurt, sorrow, anxiety. And if it's not you specifically feeling it, you're definitely going to be feeling the energy of this person on your mind space. But I do feel like you're going to be protecting yourself. So if this person was um, lacking, showing you their interests, lacking, showing you how much they care, lacking the, the ability to move forward with you, you're definitely going to have some reservations and guards up. I feel like what spirit's saying to you is you can, you can choose where you want to take this. Um, you can choose whether you want to move forward with this. Um, but definitely if this person comes through and they're coming through just to kind of ma um, make amends for themselves, think about where you really want it to go. Um, you don't want somebody coming through. You've already experienced this person's selfish self. So where do you want it to, where do you want to see things moving forward? They need to be healed. And in that divine masculine energy, no matter if it's a woman or a man, they need to be embodying that divine masculine energy before you choose to move forward with them or else you could just be repeating cycles. But I do feel like what spirits wanting you to acknowledge is there is going to be a huge, um, significant change 
all right, that's about to take place here. You got the nines, which is um, something that's about to end, and the 10, which is endings, making room for positive beginnings and growth. All right, so keep that in mind, you guys. So I'm gonna pull some initials. We're gonna see who we're talking to. And what we got, we have Z and Q, F, O, V and E. All right, Pisces, just keep in mind that initials don't matter so much as the cards do. You guys have a good weekend. Take care.